Back to Yahweh, back to Oshai, back to Yahweh, back to Oshai, back to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Akakodash. First and foremost, I'd like to start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salute to the bishops and elders who rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Now the name of the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. The man the word ignorantly called God or Jehovah, his name is Yahweh. And his only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, his name is Yahweh Shai. The man the word ignorantly called Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. And you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we are the biblical Israelites. And the so called white race, they are the biblical red Hebrew Edomites. And the mark of the beast, it is the market ship. This is your brother Yeramia, and I'm here with a lesson, Lord's willing, it will be edifying. And this one will be called My Testimony of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, delivering me from bloody men. Right? So, you know, I have this story, you know, this testimony, you know, of oh Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai deliver me out of the hands of bloody men. Bloody men, you know, these police officers out here in Jamaica, right? And it was a case where I was um, asked to go up in the back of a police van for not wearing a mask in half a tree. And it was a very unpleasant experience. And you can see it right here so on YouTube. You see it says, Man teeth punched out by police in half a tree Jamaica for not wearing face masks and this same day I was on the street and it's the same set of police officers who asked me to go up into the van for not wearing a mask and how about carry me through it right not going to play the audio you can look on some of the visuals you know and what took place these bloody men and then I will share the testimony. My fuck while it a play, and I will just share it so you can just go and watch and see the thing that I was delivered from. Right? And it's the very same police officers that's doing this, you know, Abba Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai delivered me from out of their hands. Yeah, so you know, it was on uh Friday, you know. I think the last Friday in April and you know I was supposed to meet up with brothers you know to do uh, you know a show and we were supposed to meet up at the park so I'm at the taxi stand or the bus stop waiting for a vehicle to go to meet up with the brothers now while they're waiting you know I see the police I saw the police officers and they had a man in the back of the van Right, and then one, an ex bridge was sitting, you know, just you know, Jeep, just a chill, and I all have vibes. Them said to him, Yo, come here, and them said, Go up in the Jeep, right? Because you have a little shop or a little stall where you know, Jeep, they are all in vibes, I smoke him, spliff, and uh, you know, drink him, whatever, whatever, and I'm cup. So, you know, I think it was just a case where you know, them just a uh, deal with them, JK, where I like in the street youths you know so now nah, pay that no mind anyway them tell jeep go up in the jeep that same jeep we are looking right same place it park so jeep jeep go up in the jeep so you have two of them in the jeep now so one of the police officer come to me and him say beg your search i'm gonna say take your search and i'm gonna bam bam and search my waist bam 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 clean i'm say give me a bag i want to see where in your bag so I give him the bag. He go down to the van, right? And he goes a boom up the bag, looking at the bag. And he look him see my garments. and take out my garments first. He look for the garment, look for me. Then he take out my Bible. I look for the Bible and he look for me. I like you can't see him puzzled. But anyway, Jake said to me now, go up in the jeep. So I say for what? I say you're not wearing a mask. I like I was like oh shit. Because I can recall the government saying, yeah, you will be 
charge for not wearing your mask in public places. I was like, damn. So, my sister, me rang. So, me just go up in the back of the van. Because, yeah, me remember the law passed. So, go in the van. Sit down up on the railing. Man said, no, get flat. You know, when you drop out. So, I get flat. Sit down in the van back. So, the officer no me say, officer, I put on my mask and thing and thing. I beg you, I blind. So, I can't help you. And walk away left me. So me in the van but now I look on the scene and I think it's like um one of the jake in the box said to the next one say yo a long time we don't put on a handcuff in a dog next one said to the next one so how I come be like that so when him see that it's like my life start flash before my eyes everything so I see so no one say Abba Abba you know what I mean what is help so I'm dead and like a thought coming on me, you know, I just cry out, police, police! And I beg, you know, if the police give me a, a hear me out. So when the police come, the one there will say, a uh, stretchy man right now with them two stripes, come to me and I say, brother, I beg you a blind, you know. See me, I have a one o'clock meet with my brother, them, we have to do a service, you know, where I can't miss, me. I beg you a blind if you go do that work, yeah. He said to me, say, Talk to the man there over there, sir. So I'm pying for the next officer. So I'm going to bam and grab up my bag, jump out of, the bag, out of the van, and run down to the officer and say, Sir. So the man said, What am I you now? By the time I answer the man, the police woman is dead. She jump up. Who tell her come out of the jeep? Who tell her? You know, Eve. Eve. You know, with her wickedness. Who tell her come out of the jeep? Who tell her come? Go back in the van! Go back in the van! So, I don't know if I answer she. All the spirit of me do, I just point upon the police officer who said I can't come out of the van. And when I point upon him, she shut up. And she just get quiet. And the big man said to me now, so what am I doing? Why your problem? And I said, never they have my mask a while ago still. And you know, the officer asked me to go in the van back. Nevertheless, I was one o'clock meeting with my brother, them when I really no want to miss. You know what I mean? I'm a big yard blind. And the man said to me, Go on, sister, you're a good youth. Go on. Around three times, I tell him thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First week, let me see. I jump in night and I move. And guess what? I have do it. And you know, when I see the seriousness of this thing, and when I watch these videos and mere people are talk about the incident where it took place in half a tree. And when I look in at the back of the van, I see the two Jake that was in there speaking about one saying, A long time now we were handcuffing a dog. And one I say, I walk on bail you. And I see say, damn, I the same day this is about carry me through this. And I see the seriousness of what go on. I see the bridge when just get through now back, back of the van. Him teeth get knocked out. And why? Now I use the precept. He had a brother there with the mask, man. Him, him tell me, say, go on. Right? Him, right there, so. So, see the woman there to where I tell me, go back in her jeep, go up in her jeep. You know, Eve move very aggressive towards me as a man, you know. But, you know, I praise his glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for the deliverance from this. Because, you know, something ugly, you know, I'm passed through. And, let me say, Jake. Brother, right, so you know, them lick out him teeth all the time. Ed, God, Jake now uses scriptures in them life, and that we have to do. So, my first precept I'm gonna get would be um, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly, very quickly. Because when me, you know, I was asked to go up into the van, and them asked why. And the brother said, you're not wearing your mask. Remember the law, the pastor real. We say you will be charged to be seen in public places without your mask. So my sister said, shit, me not wrong. So when we do, just comply. So he said, agree with thine adversary quickly. While thou art in the way with him. See that? So before we left on this spot, we just work with the man them. Because my sister said, me wrong. Right? So reading on it says, Less at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, right? And the judge deliver thee to the officer 
and thou be cast into prison. So, I agree, me agree with the man them quickly. And beg a bligh and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, me get the green light. Say, go, go on with Yago, me see, say, you're a good youth. And that's all the doing of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, me getting into the situation, not, you know, following the laws of the land, you know, which that the laws that we can keep in a public places. You just put on your mask and go through, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, right? When you go in yard, you can take out the mask and in a certain place so you can free up. But when you say public place, public space, exercise your mask. You know what I mean? If you stay out of trouble, right? They get caught, agree with that adversary quickly. And, you know, the Lord work out a way where you now have to go before the judge. And the judge deliver you to the officer where you cast you into prison. And now Jake have to go to all kind of unnecessary, um, what I say, Hustling and bustling, right? Yeah, so verse 26 now says, Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt be, no, thou shalt by no means come out thence, you see that? Till thou hast paid the uttermost farting. Yeah, till thou hast paid your five grand, and then him and police are fight also, that will be a charge. You hear them talk about assault, assaulting the officer. You know, the scriptures teach us we avoid all of that. And even when the whole Eve come up to me and she start flirting, I have to know how to deal with Eve. Because even with the bridge, you know, so. Eve mirrors the first box him, according to the reports. If you could have played the audio and thing, you know, Eve box him first. See him all grump, grumpy, grumpy Eve, where he asks me, Where you come out of Eve for? Where you come out of Eve for? But this is the answer. Proverbs 15 and um, verse 1, when I'm favorite precepts in the Bible one of my favorite precepts and it says a soft answer turn it away wrath but grievous words stir up anger so you have to know how to use your words them properly in this case my name will answer her verbally we just point to the gentleman who sent me on to her and she said hmm and just calm down <laughs> because him outrank her he's a corporal two stripe and she don't want not even one stripe she just have the fury of a wicked woman coming at me right so a, a soft answer turn it away wrath but grievous words tear up anger yeah so we have to know how to flex we have to know how to move in the streets right well abba mean abba deliverance this so Psalms 25 and verse 20. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Right? And the work I'm going to do also, so I will send me to And we had a beautiful camp. Me and the brothers link up, and it was a beautiful day. You know, all through the spirit and power, if you have a bash, you shy. It's not on myself. And the Lord carry me through this. Right, henceforth, let me just grab Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, Man goings are of the Lord. So, getting into the whole situation, are the Lord's doing. Getting out of it, are the Lord's doing. Lessons to be learned, yes. You know what I mean? In public um, space, wear a mask. Know the laws, keep current, right? And just do not be a little. Uh, man, rush with your mouth when you find yourself in any form of entanglement with the law. Remember the scriptures and use them wisely. Even though things happen so fast in the streets sometimes, but exercise yourself in the scriptures from now. So, in that time, you know, it will come out here naturally. And even now, the Lord, you know, when they deliver you up to the judges and he will put his words in your mouth, no fret what to say. And I see him think up now. The Lord work with the men them that fear him. Yeah? So man goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right? So the will of the Lord, you know, that I was given the green light to go. Right? And I appreciate that. You know, I, I give thanks. Tawada Yabashi me shy bashi makaku dash. Birthday Yahweh, birthday shy. I mean bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh Shai. Barakita, Barakita, Barakita Yahweh, Barakita Yahweh, Shai. 
You know what I mean? And Tawada means thanks. You know, thanks, 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 thanks. Yahawa Basha, Yahawa Shai. You know? Alright, so let me just close off with Psalms 59 and verse 2. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. Yeah. And I was saved. I was delivered out of the hands of bloody men. As you look upon the youth, then punch out him teeth. Punch out him teeth. And swore to see him. Titles like these. Man teeth punch out by police in Africa, tree, Jamaica for not wearing face masks. See that? Yeah. So they are bloody men. Them draw blood, yes? So, you know, my this is my testimony of Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai delivering me out of the hands of bloody men. So I pray I hope this lesson has been edifying. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Stay strong.